Hallo, meine Freunde. Ich hoffe, es geht dir gut. We got ourselves a new German light cruiser. The Weisbaden. I hope I said that right. I should be able to. I took German for eight years in grade school, but doesn't mean I can remember anything. Barely anything. But um, I like this boat flat out. If I had to give us a score of, say, zero being bad, five being like the most awesome ship in the game, 4.5. Like, it's that good to me. It's fantastic. It struggles in only one game mode so far I've seen so far. And I'll get to that a bit later. But other than that, she's basically a German Flint uh, or Atlanta with smoke. It's fantastic. She has 128 millimeter guns. The Atlanta series comes with 127 millimeter, or just these are just over five uh, inch guns. They're fantastic and a lot of fun. I have been playing all kinds of battles, co-op, asymmetrical, uh, random, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and I'm even operations, and I'm having a good time. It's it's a lot of fun. But as always, let's just get ourselves into it, and I'm going to dive in and tell you about the boat a bit, and why I like it so much. Alright, let's go with the armor. She is uh, paper thin. She's only got 16 mil right there. 80 on the side here, and 25 here. So the 80 is not bad. Let me show you the uh, Citadel. So there's a the Citadel. However, she's got her own version of turtleback armor, which is nice. So you do get some protection from getting Citadeled, but an up tiers doesn't mean anything. So 37 and change for points, 10% per torpedo protection, which I like. Armory, here we go. She's got 6 second reload, 9.2 second turn radius, 15 kilometer range, and they're 127 millimeter guns. You will see the low fire chance down there. I think it's 3.5%. I'll tell you why in a minute, because I'll get to that in a minute. But overall, I like the guns. They're fun to fire. And the 6 seconds is, is decent. Torpedoes, this is awesome. You've got three, or sorry, 6 torpedoes each side, 2 sets of tubes. They have a, a 68 second reload, which is fantastic. They've got themselves a 9.5 km range, 14 foreign damage, 69 knots, when you have, sorry, 68 knots, but 1.3 detectability. Not bad. Depth charges, eh, not too bad. This has got me a pissed. Wargaming, put this back down like 20 seconds. I got killed because of this, that 40 seconds, right? That's like pre patch 13.1, 13.2. Maneuverability, 33.6. Good turning radius. Even 9.1 is pretty good. I don't take the rudder shift. I'll show you in a minute. 8.5 kilometers for detectability and 4.5 in smoke. That is outstanding at tier 8, in my opinion. That has saved my bacon a few times in game, especially in randoms. All right, so for me, I take main arm modification. You guys know that. I do take engine room protection because you're light cruise and you're going to get hit. Now, I do take aiming system modification. You can take something else, but I want to be very accurate in the gun's turn. Well, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Propulsion modification, that's what I take to accelerate and juke and jive from distance. It has helped me a lot, and of course, I take concealment. If you get spotted in this thing, people will light you up. So the damage control party comes up every 57 seconds. Not bad. Smoke, this is awesome as, my, as far as I'm concerned. It, it's got a limited action time, but you can do your damage and leave, but it's got a long cooldown. But I use it more defensively, not to sit there like a British cruiser or British destroyer in, in smoke. Hydro consumable, that's what I use, three and five. So three and a half kilometers for torpedoes and five for ships which I love. There's my flags I take. And we're going to go up here. Let's go look at the exterior. I just take the camo that comes with it. Special camo. It's pretty good that way. And go look at our captain. Now, I do take Grease the Gears to help out a little bit because she's a little bit slow in the turning and I want to make sure I have a problem. I do take Swift Fish because I want more speed in my torps. And I really do need that. I do take Consumable Action Time because I want the consumables to come back a little bit quicker because when I need them, I need them. And then I do take party target because I want to have people are actually trying to shoot at me. I do take last stand because I'm going to shut up a bit. And I don't want my ship to die. It's important to me, in my opinion. You guys all know I take a drill and rush because I'm an aggressive player and I like going in there. I do take survivability experts so far and I've enjoyed this. And of course, I, this is the one. I take IFHE because I want more 25% 25 more, 25 more penetration with my HE shells. I don't care about fire chance so much, but I've been going between that and then, of course, going up to, uh, oh, sorry, I take Consumer Expert, and I go between that, and then I go to uh, Superintendent. I've been kind of back and forth with those, trying to find out which ones I like, which ones I don't. So I'm kind of experimenting. So far, this seems to work well for me. So let's just get back into it. And I think this is, um, yeah, this is one of my random games. So it has, in my opinion, one weakness. Yeah, you get up tiered in this game. I am the only tier 8 boat in here, I think. Everything's tier 10. It's it's disgusting. So I don't have the range of a tier 10 cruiser. I don't have the power, the, the hit points. Getting upscaled here, yeah, it sucks because this was a rough game for me. I think I only got like 10,000 damage. We won the game, but you're on your toes the entire game. It, it's not, uh, there's me chatting, chat. yeah, how funny it is. But yeah, this is the game. So it's one of those, yeah, it's kind of funny. So at the end of the day, I don't. that's about the only weakness. But overall, every other game mode, especially asymmetrical, it is fun as heck. I've enjoyed this boat. I'm lucky I got it on four crates. 
So I hear that some people have said that it could be very expensive if you have to do the whole thing. I bought four of the crates of 750 doubloons and got it. I have also, you see this guy in chat right now, he got it in three. So the odds are pretty good. I mean, get it. Would I say this is a boat you should actually get as a premium boat? I'm going to say 100%. I love this boat. I've been playing it for 24 hours straight now, and I can't really see too much problems with it. I mean, I wish the smoke lasted a bit longer like the Flint, but that's about it. It's a great boat. It's a lot of fun. So if you want it, get it. If you got it, try it. But um, hey, I'm happy with it. I got nothing bad to say about it whatsoever. It's great in co-op, great in operations, great in asymmetrical. When you're not up tiered in randoms, it's phenomenally fun. So I like it. But hey, you know what? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys got it? Do you have it? Do you want to get it? What do you think? But overall, I like it. If you guys could do me one other quick favor before we, uh, we cut out, hit the like button, hit subscribe. That's important to me because I am about to pass 27,000 subscribers. This channel is blowing my mind. All right, as always, take care, stay safe, and, uh, well, auf Wiedersehen.